Hey guys, I'm going to talk to you today about periodic table basics. All right, so we're just going to break it down, get just exactly how you would see it on a periodic table. Now, for example, when you look at periodic tables, they primarily are going to have the symbol, the name, atomic mass, atomic number. But some of them, like the periodic tables on your teachers in your teachers' rooms, there's not enough space for the name. Okay, so you see the atomic number, atomic mass, and the symbol. So when we take a box from the periodic table, the first thing we have that you see that's usually that stands out the most is what's called the symbol. Okay, so for example, we're going to take oxygen. All right, this is called a symbol. So when your teachers refer to the symbol, that's what they're talking about. Okay. Sometimes, like the charts in the classroom, the atomic number is at the top. Okay. And then, you know what? I'm going to do this, guys. The atomic number is at the top. The atomic mass is at the bottom. But it doesn't have to stay that way. Okay. Some, like in the FET simulation, it will have the atomic mass at the top. Atomic number at the bottom. It's okay. So you have your atomic mass, and don't think that every single element the mass is just doubled. That's just kind of the first few, it seems to kind of go like that, but as you get farther down the periodic table, then they get bigger and bigger. So the mass gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay? This is just coincidence. All right? So this is your atomic mass. Mass is always the bigger number. This is what's called your atomic number. Okay? That's the basic part of what the box tells you. And then a lot of times they have the name there too. Okay? So we know an atom is made up of protons, neutrons, and electrons. Okay. On the periodic table, it tells you this information. All right. So, for example, the atomic number, that is how the periodic table, the elements are situated. So when you look at the periodic table, you start with hydrogen, go all the way to the right to helium, then come back down to lithium, all the way across to neon, and then you just keep going back and forth. That's how you read it. So oxygen <coughs> is the eighth box. So this eight, you can also just count the boxes as you go across. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and when you get to eight, it'll say eight, and it's the eighth box. That's oxygen, okay? Protons, remember, oh, that's right. We gotta know, do you know the parts of an atom and what they look like? So the center part, anybody remember? It's called a nucleus. Inside the nucleus are protons and neutrons. Outside the nucleus, I like to write them with an E and a negative. I don't know, I'm old school, that's how we learn to write it. Because that tells you the charge of an electron. All of this business, all of this, whole entire thing, that is an atom. Not just the nucleus, the whole thing with the electrons as well. To get to the the nucleus, all you have to do is count protons and neutrons. So like in the FET simulation, they're bubbles. You count the orange bubbles and you count the gray bubbles. Just the number, and that's what is your atomic mass. Atomic mass is when you count your protons plus your neutrons. Okay? Atomic number, remember, that's how the periodic table is set up across. Atomic number tells you the number of protons. So oxygen has eight protons. It has an atomic mass, so it has 16 protons and neutrons together, okay? Now, the last thing I'm gonna tell you to help you with your FET simulation, just to start off the periodic table, is, I don't know if I have enough room, it's a neutral atom, and this is when 
you have the same number of protons and electrons. Oh, don't forget charge. Protons are positive, electrons are negative, neutrons have no charge. So they're not going to affect it. Now, let me get my number two. An ion, okay, the atom has either more protons than electrons or more electrons than protons. So if it has more electrons, it's a negative ion. If it has more protons, it's a positive ion. Protons are positive. If you have more positives than negatives, that's why it's positive. Electrons are negative. If you have more electrons than protons, that's why it's a negative ion. Okay? All right. Hope that helps you out.